please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you wanted to help support this channel, it won't cost you anything. All you gotta do is use the links in the description if you wanna get any of this for yourself. Hey, what's going on, Rich? Back with our awesome video for you. I am building the PC of my dreams right now. I've been saving up for a long time. I've been working really, really hard. I've been sacrificing a lot of other stuff to be able to do this. This is the Mastercase uh, H500M, which has two 200 millimeter fans in the front. They are RGB. It's gonna be able to hold all this big build I'm putting in here. They got the Asus ROG Maximus Hero, which is right here. This is the Wi Fi version, the 1151 motherboard, and it is going to be housing the Intel Core i9, the 9900K. Of course, it's all gonna be powered by the Asus Thor 1200 watt platinum power supply. Absolute monster. This thing has an OLED display, as you can see right there basically displays the wattage how much the pc is pulling while it's working while it's sitting still all the storage is going to be going on a samsung 970 evo plus that's going to be nvme m2 that is a 500 gigabyte hard drive i'm using that for my main hard drive i'm going to be adding more later on i went with some corsair vengeance lpx ram i only went with 16 gigabytes because that's all i need right now when I do upgrade, I'm eventually going to get 64 gigs. This thing is such a powerhouse, it doesn't need anything more than that right now. We're going to be running Windows 10 on this, of course. When all is said and done, we're going to be cooling this with a Noctua Chromax NHD15 Chromax Black. That is air-cooled. The entire heatsink is black. I have a 140 millimeter Noctua Black fan that's going to go in the back to pull the air out of it to make it really super quiet. Then I have a Fantex Halo Lux Digital RGB frame, which is going to be going around that. Everything is going to be controlled by a Corsair K70 RGB MK2 low-profile keyboard be paired with a Logitech G Pro Hero, which is a phenomenal mouse. I have the skates for it. I've got an upgraded cord for it. I'm going to be showing you a video on how to do all that also. This is the newest thing Noctua released up here on the top. This is the Noctua NT H2 thermal paste. I've got a super high-end display port cable, and then I have a really, really high-end Ethernet cable, which is down here on the left. There's one more thing. We have a 2080 Ti over here. So I figured I'd throw that in the build. I just try to offer the best quality content and just honest opinions and reviews of everything. I just wanted to really, really reach out and to let everybody know that, you know, you work hard, you follow your dreams and uh, anything you want, you can do. If you're one of my subscribers, thank you so much. I love everybody on here and I really appreciate you taking the time to come back to watch my videos and to comment and talk to me and send love and support. It really means a lot. And I built this channel. A friend of mine helped me out with the name of this channel, name it, build it, my best friend in the world. And I hope I'm making him proud right now because you name it and I can build it. That was the whole point. You know, anything you could think of, I can do. So here is the final build. I gotta tidy up the wires. Here it is from the side. Very clean install. As you can see, I have the Noctua black fans and everything looks really, really nice. So these are slightly bigger than the 140 millimeter fans. I think they are 150. In the back, I got the 140 millimeter fan with that RGB frame on it. Looks really, really good. Got the Noctua Black Chromax cooler. This thing looks phenomenal. Here's the video card. Here is the Asus Thor. That's what it looks like. Really, really cool RGB effects. Right on that little corner right in the middle of the screen, Thor is lit up in blue. It's a little bit hard to see because of all the other RGB going on inside the frame. Here's the front of the case. Looks absolutely incredible. Again, I gotta tidy up all the wires, but I just wanted to show you what it was look like all completely put together. And in case you're wondering, on the right side, you got a little bit of RGB coming through the sides in a couple different spots. You got a couple little spots where it bleeds through on the right. If you have that towards your bed or somewhere else in the room where you don't want it to wake you up or bother you, as you can see, the right side is all black. Everything shines right through the metal inside. That's what the top of it looks like. There's the power button. It does light up in white. I've got the additional aluminum Fantex RGB there with the, the 140 millimeter fan. The RGB over here on the Asus Thor. I've got the RGB on the motherboard itself. As you can see, it's kind of covered by the video card. And it is also covered by this giant Chromax cooler, but it does light up with LED in the back of the motherboard itself. The video card itself has RGB on it. And then I also installed the RGB LED strip, which is magnetic. The Asus one that I showed you earlier. So it's just stuck onto the case magnetically. Over here, you can see it going this way, all around the top. Absolutely loving the way this thing looks. Really, really came out good. So I got this whole desktop all set up. I apologize, I got a lot of bunch of wires running all over the place. I'm gonna be tucking those behind the desk. I just needed to get everything set up for the video. I got my Corsair mechanical keyboard, my Logitech G Pro Hero mouse, Xbox One PUBG Edition controller. This thing's incredible. Something that I forgot to mention in the beginning of the video, I also was building this for a recording studio. So these are my Yamaha HS8s. They are studio monitors with eight inch woofers. 
based off the old Yamaha NS10s. I got my Steinberg UR22C up top right here. This is the volume knob. This controls the audio for the whole system. I have inputs up here that I can plug anything I want in and bring it into the, the digital audio realm of the computer. And the biggest thing that I forgot to mention earlier was I got an Asus VG279 monitor. This thing is absolutely incredible. If you're used to Xbox or if you're used to watching TV or just your, your old PC, you'd not be able to fathom the difference between the 60 hertz and the 144 hertz that this thing has. It's so fast when you're gaming or panning left to right, when you're looking left to right, it just instantly responds. The thing about this is it's 144 hertz with one millisecond grade of gray, which is top notch. And the other thing is this is an IPS panel as opposed to TN, which means it's in-plane switching technology as opposed to twisted pneumatic, which is pretty much what everybody has, uh, LCD, LED panels, which are TN, they're called, twisted pneumatic. So this thing is uh, really, really phenomenal at displaying colors with high accuracy. In the $300 price range, you're not gonna get anything better than this. And if you're gonna build a PC, I would definitely get something at this level. You can get another little piece of software called Asus AuraSync. And this is what controls the RGB lighting, the LEDs inside the PC. You could have it static, which means it's just gonna stay the same color. You can go to breathing, strobing, color cycle, rainbow, starry night, music, smart, and dark. So right now we're looking at static, which means it's just gonna keep it the way it is, one color. You can change the color to any color you want. That's orange, uh, that's yellow, that's green, uh, teal, we got blue, we got purple. You could also do different variants of colors. Like if I go to red, I can change the color of red, more of a gray blue. Same thing with green, we can get green here. We could do light green, do like a hunter green, do a very, very, very light green. Possibilities are endless. And you can go to breathing, which basically you pick the color you want and it'll just go on and off like this to breathing. Color cycle, which is basically going from one color to the next. And we have Starry Night, which basically keeps it all one color, and then the white just kind of keeps glowing and blinking on it in different places. We have Smart, which will keep it green. Once the PC starts heating up, it'll get into yellow. Once it starts getting really hot, it will turn red. This is my personal favorite. I leave it on rainbow, and then I change the speed to fast. So it just goes through the colors a little bit quicker. As you can see, the colors are just kind of spinning around the, the fan in the back. I love how the red goes from purple to blue and then it just spins around and moves. Really cool effect. You can see the power supply, which is really neat over here. It just cycles through the colors. There you have it. There's the RGB effects. That's what it looks like. So if you really wanted to help support this channel, again, as always, it doesn't cost you anything. I'm gonna leave some links in the description to all the parts and uh, everything I used to build this PC. And if you wanted to pick any of that stuff up, just use the links in the description. As always, make sure to click that like button, subscribe to my channel for more awesome content, and let me know if you have any questions or comments in the section down below. Thank you again for watching. Take care.